everybody and welcome to my studio. So today I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because I've got some pretty menial tasks to do but I know a lot of you are interested about the more admin side of being an artist and what that includes. So today I've got a few things to get done. First of all I need to take some photographs of all the different paintings that need to go up in my Etsy shop and also some of those paintings also need signing as well. This painting is called Winter Sky and it's been done with acrylics. You can actually see me creating this painting so I'll put the link to that video in the corner and I'll also put up a link in the description box so you can go and check that out and watch it being created. I used a new tool with this painting which is called a rubber wedge and it was actually really interesting to use and it gives some really great texture. Also this painting is now available on Etsy as are all the different paintings that you'll see in this video. So now I'm just going to take a few pictures for my Etsy shop, so I like to get some different close-ups, some from the side, I also like to get a few from a distance as well so you can see what it looks like when it's inside a room. So now that piece has been properly photographed, it's now going to go into storage where it's going to wait for a new home. Now onto the next paintings, these were both inspired by an RHS garden show that I attended last year. This one is called Summer Dance and this one is called Whimsical and they are both oil paintings. And yeah, hopefully it's going to just complete them because I'm going to be using colours that are found in the painting just so that it all ties in really nicely. I thought that springtime would be the perfect time to release these paintings um, because they just bring such a nice happy energy because of the bright colours and I really loved painting these. So if I'm photographing for prints I will usually do it outside but for Etsy you don't need that high res anyway so taking photographs inside is fine as long as you have a good light. So a little tip that I like to um, show you guys is that I use this foam board which is just a plain white foam board that you can get from any craft shop and basically what it does it provides a really nice crisp white background when you're photographing your different artworks. As you all know, my desk is very messy and has lots of different colored paint on it. So it just creates a really nice backdrop and it makes photographs much, much easier to edit too. So now that I've finished taking all the photographs, I'm going to have a quick tidy up. And something that I always do after taking photographs, and I do recommend it to anybody else who is doing this, is to double check that your photographs have come out okay. Because there's nothing worse than coming to it a week later and seeing that there's been a wrong setting on your camera. 
So all the photos look fine. So now I'm going to have a little bit of playtime and work on this painting that's been sat there a really long time and I've just not really connected with it. So I'm going to add a few different layers and just hopefully it'll come together a lot more. So I've ended up actually making quite a lot of changes to this painting and I have used a photograph just for a bit of inspiration and it was a photograph that I took in Devon when we were on holiday quite a few years ago now. So I've used little bits of that photograph just to add in different colours and little cloud shapes just to make it a little bit more dynamic. So I reached out to you guys on my Insta stories and asked what you guys think this painting should be called and so, so many of you came up with some really amazing names. It was so hard to choose just one but what I'm going to do is make a note of all the different names you've given me and potentially use them in the future as well. So the name that I have chosen is A New Day. And that idea came from Laurie Scott, so I want to say a massive thank you. But I want to say thank you to everybody who put in a response, because as I say, I will use those in the future, I'm sure, because there were some really amazing, amazing names. Feel free to come and say hi on Instagram. I try and post a lot of different projects that I've got going on at the moment. Don't forget to check out some of the vlogs that I mentioned earlier if you're looking for something else to watch. And I hope you have a beautiful, inspiring day. Thanks so much guys, bye!